Hey, cute people. Yes, 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 yes. It's me losing light here. I started doing this video. I know I'm crazy with the videos. It's either the light. It's, it's always something, right? I started this video. I don't know how long ago and now I'm losing light. So um, just bear with me. I'm hoping that um, it's not too dark, but I just really wanted to make a video today. Kind of like an update video. Not really updated but just discussing some things that I'm going through in my life right now and just little things nothing major nothing um to clutch your pearls over but just discussing and sharing because it seems like the last couple of days I've been doing a whole lot but doing nothing if that makes sense like I've um, learned some new things about myself and my body and I'm going to be learning some more new things about myself and my body and that means health wise but as you guys know I've been here um a couple of years now and I really am getting used to it but I am a whole lot bored because if you want to go anywhere, I think I mentioned this before, if you want to go anywhere, you really have to get in a car and get there from that little town that I'm in. But I really don't do much of anything but go into the shopping area and shop from time to time. And sometimes that gets a lot boring because um, that's the only time I really can get out and do anything. Hopefully soon all that will change but i really really want to try to get um my furniture and things because i left it um up north and i'm hoping that i can get them soon because i really want to make my house feel more like a home one thing i like about living here um i call these apartments i don't care what anybody else says these uh, people here well one lady that i know here she calls it a home but these are apartments as far as i'm concerned and the one good thing I can say is that um, I have like a little yard in the front. So you could do a little something as far as putting out chairs on your little porch, um, whatever you want to do. Same thing with the back. I have a little back area, which I want to get a little barbecue and barbecue from time to time this summer. Um, put some chairs out there, you know, make it really cute, really cute. I don't know how often I'll be sitting out there because... My neighbor last year, well, not last year, but a couple of months ago. Okay, maybe last year. I think it was kind of warm. Yeah, she saw a snake over there at her yard. And uh, I'm not looking forward to that at all because where I am, I'm not very far from a wooded area. Like the wooded area could be like maybe 10 feet from my back door. So, yeah, that's something to think about. But I'm still looking forward to, you know, really getting comfortable here. I've been here long enough and I got a feeling I'll be here a whole lot longer, but it's okay. Yeah. Mm, shopping is always fun, but I don't spend money like I used to because I'm trying to stick to a straight, strict budget. Don't go over. Um, stay really close to what you decided to spend. Some days I do go over, but, you know, that's only human, right? But anyway, yeah, so, you know, just trying to feel more at home. Because I'm telling you, when you don't have your furniture and you don't have the things that you're used to, like, say, like, I know you probably say, really, but like, you don't have all your clothes or your beauty supplies or your makeup or your towels, all your things that make you feel comfortable all the time, whatever it may be, whatever it may be, your music, whatever, CDs, movies. It's like, oh my gosh, can I get this together? I wanted to go this month here, April, but it didn't pan out. But like I told you before, or maybe I didn't say it this way, it's like I've always been busy since I've been here, especially the last couple of months, I'll say, I've been going to the doctor like crazy. Just recently, I had a mammogram done and I'm waiting to see um, what the doctor has as far as the results. And um, I'm hoping everything will be okay, which I think it'll be okay. I think I'm going to be fine. I'm not really worried about anything, but of course, I'm praying for the best and I'm sure my results will be great. And I have to sneeze. Another observation, whenever I make a video... I don't know why I always have to wipe my nose because it's running or sneeze. I don't know. I can't say. I don't know. Well, whatever. Anyway. Yeah, so recently I had some lab work done. Um, 
and my vitamin D was low, low, low. So I'm taking now like 15,000 milligrams or whatever once a week of vitamin D. I think I took the pill yesterday. Yeah. But like I said, this lab results, this test anyway, you know, the doctor just wanted to check a lot of everything. So she checked that. And then she tells me that I'm pre-diabetic, which I've heard before, and I was supposed to be working on that, but I guess I haven't done anything because I haven't gained any weight, but I haven't lost any weight. And my doctor did suggest that I walk a couple of days a week, like 30 minutes, and no, I haven't done that either. I lead a very sedentary life. I, I sit at work. I sit at home. When I'm sitting, I'm sitting. I'm always sitting. Um, especially when I'm home. But there's some things I want to get. I don't know if you call it a, a stair climber. It's nothing that you hold on to, but you stand on it and then you just like a climb up, but you don't have anything to hold on. I want to get one of those because it's not really expensive. And then I want to get, um, it's like a bike, but you just pedal it. So it's not really a bike because you're not sitting on a bike, but you can sit in a chair and you can just pedal it. Just something to get the circulation moving in my legs because I also suffer from pulmonary embolism and it's not a great thing to just be sitting all the time because of the blood clots and so forth and on and on and on. Then she tells me I may have a low thyroid, so she's going to watch for that. Um, what else? There's one more thing. Um Oh, let me tell you, glaucoma. I went to get my eyes checked a while ago. I really wanted to um, start wearing contacts. But these are readers, as you know, right, from firmood.com. And I used to buy all of my um, readers from Dollar Tree. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I really didn't mind. I mean, they look good. They cost a dollar. They had different styles. Sometimes they didn't have all the styles that I wanted, and they did break easily. But I've had these here for quite some time, so I won't complain. Um, yeah, but I like these. And then I have another pair that I have gotten. Um, I put them away as soon as I got these here. But anyway, anyway, so um, yeah, so I've heard this before, so it's nothing new that um, I can be a, I don't want to say a candidate for glaucoma. But glaucoma is in my future. So how would you say that? So I'm going back to the doctor early May, another couple of weeks. And, um, yeah, I'm going to have to start taking glaucoma medicine. I've taken it before, but for whatever reason, I didn't take it very for a very long time. But I don't know if you do know the glaucoma medicine is supposed to make your eyelashes long, which is what I need because I don't have any eyelashes and I don't have any eyebrows either. <laughs> And I don't like my eyebrows because one has hair and it comes out decently. Then the other one doesn't and it looks like it's, okay, that's another story for another time. Because I'm just talking to you guys. Like I said, you know, you just want to talk sometimes. And people in my family, you don't want to hear their feedback all the time. Just let me let me talk. Don't say anything. You agree, just say yeah. You don't agree, say, mm, I hear that. Keep it moving. I don't want to hear your opinions or what you should do. You should do this or whatever. But I shouldn't say that to you guys because I am interested in your opinion because um, there's a lot of people that may be going through the same thing I'm going through. Like I said, I don't want to be pre-diabetic, so I'm going to have to start getting my behind up and walking and start eating better. I do not um, want to... Do anything that'll harm my body because I am deficient in something because I'm deficient in um, B12. So I take B12 pills. I'm also taking magnesium because I always get in Charlie horses like crazy, you know, pull muscles. That is no joke. If you've ever had a pull muscle, I'm telling you now, do what you got to do to make it stop because those things hurt. Yes, they do. But, you know, like I said... I'm just going through a few things and I'm just trying to rewrite how I want to live my life as far as my health is concerned. Because like I said, if you take care of yourself, you get great results, right? Just like our hair, you take care of your hair, you get great results. You take care of your body, you get great results. If you don't, you'll fall apart. And remember now, I'm over half a century old and um Things are not quite the way they used to be. The one thing that I really, really want to do is just lose some weight. I want to lose about mm, 
anywhere from 40 to 60 pounds. And I really think I can do it because I've done it before. But once you do it, sometimes you lax back on the things that you do and then you gain that way back and some more. So I don't want to do that. I just want to be healthy. I want to stop eating processed food. But I don't know, since I've come down here, and I know I mentioned this before, my mother at her house, she bought a lot of snacks because, you know, her great grandkids are there. So she buys a lot of um, potato chips, cakes, cookies, junk food like that. And when I was in New York, I didn't buy that stuff. No, I told my son, don't look for it because I'm not buying it. And we didn't buy it. And then my son was the one who suggested to me, let's not buy soda anymore. So we stopped drinking soda. Then we came down here. I started drinking soda again. And um, since I've been here in my own um, abode, we don't really drink soda. I may buy soda every now and then. And I may buy juice every now and then. But on average, we don't drink that. So I want to stay away from that. But as far as food, I, I I can't help myself there. And you know, it's a funny thing. I never used to eat so much. It seems like now I want to eat all the time, eat everything, and then sit my big behind down and don't do anything. I got to get out of that. Because like I said, I don't want to gain more weight than where I am. And I definitely want to lose a whole lot of weight. So I don't know. But I do know one thing, I got to take better care of myself, right? I got to do the things that will make me feel good because I don't want to be that type of older person who has hypertension, cholesterol, and this and that. And the funny thing is, at my age right now, I don't have high blood pressure. My cholesterol is good. Yeah, but I got to take pre-diabetic medicine for pre-diabetes. I'm going to have to take glaucoma medicine. And I got to take Xarelto because I have... Um, from limb embolism, those are blood clots on my lungs, and I could talk about that a little later, which is something I did want to share with you guys, only because there's a lot of people out here who may have some type of symptoms and not realize what it is, because when I had it, I didn't know what it was. Um, I started seeing things, but you know, you just think, okay, and it'll go away, and it doesn't go away, and with pulmonary embolism, you don't want it to take you away. But yeah, so that's just some of the things I'm going through. Nothing really big. And as usual, I wanted to stop this video at 10 minutes, but I just love to talk. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't want to keep you guys too much longer. Besides, anyway, it's Saturday. I was watching Good Times. Good Times is going off, I believe, now with Sanford and Son. And I'm hungry. So I think tonight we're going to have like hamburgers and french fries. Yeah, so I'm going to end this video, like I mentioned, and I do want to thank you guys for stopping by and watching this video. And before you finish watching the video, just subscribe to my channel so you can see if I do start um, a little walking routine or whatever. And check out, yeah, and, and, and subscribe to my channel so you can see my little herb garden when I get everything together like I want. But anyway, thank you so much for stopping by and watching this video. Hopefully, I'll see you guys in the next. And I want you guys to do nothing but share and spread love. Mwah.